So the fleet are all now back on track and sailing towards the east after Monday night's uh, rescue mission of uh, Kevin Escoffier. Um, we can start to look at the weather and the, uh, the outlook for the next few days, um, what the skippers might be dealing with. So at the moment they're sailing uh, just to the north of this low pressure, which is far down in the south, down in, inside the ice gate. Uh, and they've got this very strong uh, westerly wind. Um, as you can see, we've got Bureau Valley much further south towards the ice gate. He'll be dealing with 35, 40 knots of wind. While there's this northern group, including Sea Explorer Yacht Club de Monaco, who has sort of between 25 and 30 knots. But in the next few hours, the wind is going to um, start coming from the southwest as, the, uh, as this low pressure moves further towards the west. And that will mean that the fleet are going to carry on up here. And as they get lifted, they'll jibe and start pointing towards the east. Um, we can see that there's this separation between Bureau Valley and the rest of the group. Um, and that's probably due to the um, due to the um, sea state that we can see here. This is the sea state uh, 1400 UTC. Um, you can see down here in the south with the depression, you have a very large sea state of six or seven meters, which is very difficult to sail in and uh, very tough conditions, especially when the wind's blowing 35 or 40 knots. So that's probably why this northern group has opted to um, sail this bit further north um, to really avoid the worst of this sea state. We can see how in 24 hours, um, it's shifted much further towards the uh, towards the west to the towards the east and um, and this is kind of the expected position of Bureau Valley and um, Boris on board six for Yacht Club de Monaco and um, Bureau Valley will just have to deal with slightly um, more difficult conditions. We can have a look at the outlook um, for the next few days as well. Um, so what we have here is the ensemble routings. Um, so it's the model weather model run multiple times um, and we also have the wind overlaid for the 6th of December at 1400 UTC. Um, so we can see here the ensemble routings are all in a lot of agreement um, to sail this this route here. Um, and what this is, is it's uh, after the fleet jibe, they want to come quite close to the ice gate. And that's because there's this high pressure up, up here in the north, um, which means there's not going to be much wind sort of above this line or it will be slower conditions. So we'll probably see the fleet all come quite close to the ice gate here. Um, and then after this point, we can see that there's a low that's formed down here in the south and you get a big wind shift so the wind starts coming from the uh, northwest and at that point the fleet will make a jibe and start heading towards the uh, towards the east again um, but it, to see exactly the timing of this we'll have to have a look in the next few days um, but that's kind of the rough outlook ahead and uh, we'll see how they get on.